Hi, I'm Anastasia from Tech City News and this is your Week in Tech. Today we're at Make Good Festival, a three-day celebration of all things creative and entrepreneurial. In a bid to tackle illegal download, UK anti-piracy police shut down one of the world's largest torrent search engines. Torrents.eu has over 27 million links of pirated content on its site, which costs the UK economy hundreds of millions of pounds each year. This move comes after the high-profile shutdown of Pirate Bay and others, but the police haven't quite cracked it yet, as Torrance was back up and running in less than 24 hours. Dr. Dre is now the first ever hip-hop billionaire, thanks to Apple, who have forked out an incredible $3 billion to buy Beats Electronics. The deal has baffled analysts, who are yet to see if Apple can innovate without Steve Jobs. The best-selling Beats headphones could be the start of something new. It's suggested that Beats streaming services and the talents of Dr. Dre and his music producer Jimmy Levine are the real reason behind this acquisition. Watch out for the next edition of our print magazine coming out in just a couple of weeks. Subscribe now online to get yours posted right to your door. There's been a lot of talk about self-driven cars lately, but Google have made this a reality, releasing their very own working prototype this week. The two-seater futuristic car has a start and stop button, but there's no steering wheel, no pedals and no mirrors. Exciting as this is, unless you're at Google HQ, you're probably not going to see these supercars. They're not approved for use on roads, so it's going to be a long time till we see them on the UK streets. Our download of the week is a photo app all about bringing your online memories into print. Huggle Up lets you print Instagram, Facebook and mobile photos straight from your phone. You can print anything from Polaroid pictures to magnets, which will then arrive at your door. So if you're done with digital and ready to display your prints, download Huggle Up on iOS and Android now. And finally, a New York restaurant recently paid the price for asking someone to take off their Google Glass. The unhappy customer and friends took to the internet to give very bad reviews. Glass hole or not, you decide. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Texas News and follow us on Twitter.